and welcome to Months and Made This. My name is Michael. That's Hopper. And I'm Ben. And Odie's back there. We are all piled in the car today because we are going to Chipotle. This is a video we've talked about, thought about doing for quite a long time. I've been vegan for five-ish years. Ben's been vegetarian for... God, what is it, like two years now? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Chipotle. Ben always was. And he told me the way to start enjoying Chipotle is to learn how to, like, order properly. And I think I've properly hacked the menu for myself. Uh, so much that Ben has even started ordering his stuff like mine. And also so much so that, like, you crave Chipotle now. Instead yeah. of being, like, put off by it. And actually, I thought about filming this video today after Ben actually had Chipotle yesterday. Yeah, so this is supposed to be sort of like a fast food hack video. I think we've talked about maybe doing like a series of videos going to fast food restaurants or fast casual places and sort of like hacking it for, uh, you know, vegan purposes or vegetarian purposes. Right. And that's exactly what's happening today. Um, I'm also, slash Ben is also convinced that the way that we are ordering now, you get twice the food. I wouldn't say twice, but... Almost twice. And so we're actually going to be very scientific today and even weigh our food. Uh, he's going to order it sort of his old way. I'm going to order it the current way. Uh, and we're going to see if you actually do get sort of two for one with my special Chipotle hack. Yeah, if you're familiar with Chipotle, you either get a bowl or burrito. Those are the only options. Well, I guess there's tacos, but there's tacos. no one really orders tacos. So I'm gonna get a burrito like I used to get, and we'll see uh, how it compares to what you get in the bowl. Because I'm gonna be getting a bowl and end up getting extra tortillas and then making my own burritos out of that. Before we go to Chipotle though, there's one stop I need to make, and that is to a grocery store around the corner to get some vegan sour cream, because that's something I've truly grown to love in my burritos. I mean, I loved it in burritos before I went vegan, and as a vegan, I love it. So we're gonna stop by the store really quick, grab some vegan sour cream, and then head to Chipotle. And when we get there, I will tell you exactly what my order is, because we probably won't bring the cameras inside Chipotle. Let's see. So uh, just parked here at the grocery store. I'm gonna put on my mask and go in and just grab some sour cream. It's Tofuti brand. Hopefully they have it. I have a slight tiny bit at home, um, but hopefully they have some. It goes fast here, so. All right, I'm going in. I'm just gonna sit in the car with the dogs, I guess. Yeah, keep them entertained. Make sure they're good. Why is this not fitting properly today? Anyways, all right, I'm good. Maybe not. <laughs> Why is it being weird today? just parked at Chipotle and I'm so hungry. We went to the gym earlier, haven't eaten since going to the gym, so energy level's a little bit low. So let's refuel that. We're gonna head inside, order, uh, and then we're gonna take it back to our house and show you exactly what we ordered, how we ordered it, and uh, we'll do the ultimate test to see if, in fact, my way of ordering gives you twice the Chipotle. You cool with that, Odie? I think he is. Perfect. Okay, well, we just got back from being inside. Sorry, I was here posing for a thumbnail. Oh, okay, pose for a thumbnail. That's not really. So we just got back from ordering, and what were you saying, Ben, on the way back to the car? Because you've been ordering it my way for a while now. Yeah, uh, seeing her put this burrito together, I'm like convinced that it's less food. It has so. to be. Let's get directly home, uh, show you what we got, show you or tell you exactly how we ordered it. And uh, we're gonna do the major test of weighing it to see if in fact ordering it my way got us double the food. Here's my Chipotle haul, the way that I ordered it. First thing to come out are two tortillas, warmed up, wrapped in foil. And then I order a bowl. And when asked if I want rice, what kind of rice I want, I say both. When she asks what kind of beans I want, I say both. I get sofritas as my meat. I get the uh, veggies, I guess she called them fajita veggies, so it's like onions and peppers. And then I get the hot sauce, the hot salsa. I get the corn salsa. And I don't get any lettuce because sometimes I like to save like half of this to eat now and then half later. So the lettuce gets kind of soggy. So here is my bowl haul and my tortillas. 
So I'm going to put this into a different bowl because I like to mix it all together before I make my burritos. So I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl, mix it together, and that's when we'll do the weighing to see if in fact ordering it this way gave me more food than how Ben ordered it, which is pretty much the same thing, but just in a burrito form. Here's my bowl. I have it on a scale that's then zeroed out. And uh, I'm just going to transfer all of my food in there and see exactly how much it weighs. And I will be mixing this all together. I like my fillings homogenous. So, 858 grams. Uh, I'm gonna mix this together, get ready to do mine, and then uh, let's get Ben's burrito contents into a bowl and see how much that weighs. All right, so I'm gonna deconstruct my burrito so we take the tortilla out of the equation. Hopefully this will be fairly easy to do. <laughs> my idea was to just weigh his burrito as is and then make my burritos just to see the comparison, but he thought this would be a better way. I'm just trying to, to get... make it as scientific as possible. Just, I'm going to say there's going to be some displacement. How is yours different than mine? So you got both beans and rice. I don't do that. So I feel like there's going to be... Wait, you did get beans and rice, just not, not both, both kinds the kinds. of beans and yeah. rice. So ordering it like both kinds of rice, both kind of beans might also be a way that you kind of get more Hack ingredients. The system. So this tortilla is pretty much empty. Like, yes, there's going to be some rice stuck to that, but like, look at, it's literally half. 381, what was mine? 500 and... I know, like 800 and yeah. something. <laughs> so, so you granted can... there is a little bit left there, but here's his bowl. Here's my bowl. So I'll never order a burrito ever again. It doesn't make any sense. You just order tortillas on the side and you get like two burritos. So I'm going to flip the camera around here. So what I'm going to do uh, is uh, form, make my burritos, put my sour cream on there, and then show you what the final product looks like. Again, normally I'd probably make one, save the other one for later, but I'm just gonna make them both right now so you can see what delicious meal I come up with. And then, spoiler alert, his burritos look exactly like a regular Chipotle burrito. Kind of. In fact, I actually kind of like them because they're a little bit smaller, but without further ado, let's make these burritos. Here are all of my burrito fillings mixed together. Again, I like it that it's more homogenous. Also, a lot of times salsa, that gets just poured on top and you end up with a really wet burrito or something that drips and I feel like mixing it together also uh, prevents that crazy drippage. It happens a little bit, but um, getting a couple different kinds of salsas on there can create a wet burrito, but this kind of solves that. So yeah, I always had to order a double wrap burrito for that exact reason, because it would tear half of the time because of all the salsa. And it still would drip everywhere. Yeah, like a soup afterwards. Yep. Um, all right, I'm gonna go over to the other counter, apply the sour cream onto my tortillas. We just keep, keep them going. So here's the tortilla. She wrapped them both together this time, which is strange. Normally they wrap them separately, which definitely helps because these are kind of stuck together. She also gave me a ripped one, <laughs> whatever. At least you got double the amount of ingredients. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Ben really took one for the team today, for the channel. I'm so surprised it's that different. Maybe everyone watching has already known this for a long time, but I can't believe there's that much more food in the bowl versus the burrito. So I'm just gonna dollop some sour cream. I like quite a bit. Now I'm curious about the tacos. Like how much less do you actually get from Because it's all kind of the same tacos? price, right? Yeah. People are gonna be shocked by this amount of sour cream, but whatever. And I'm gonna try to get half of this in here. Sometimes I end up doing a little bit less than half. I make two burritos and I have a little bit left for a midnight snack later. Are you gonna weigh this burrito in compared to the burrito I made? Sure. Just as another point of measurement. And uh, I have to say that I'm pretty proud of my wrapping or folding abilities. You're better than most of the people at Chipotle. And that's one burrito made with half of the ingredients. And I'm gonna do the same thing again and I'll have two and I guess yeah, we'll weigh them again. Wow, I can't believe this. Look, she ripped it. That's rough. I guess that's my compensation. I only get half of the burrito. Ripper. All right, we'll pick this up when we weigh them. Okay. As I was just about to weigh them, uh, I put them side by side. <laughs> His burrito, my two fully vegan now with vegan sour cream. Obviously, if you were like eating at the restaurant, you might not put in as much effort as I am, but hey, if you're taking it home, this is the way to do it. So uh, I'm going to figure out the best way to weigh this. Can't get these confused. So your single burrito weighs 469 grams. 
Okay, 469 grams. My one burrito weighs 543. <laughs> oh my God. That's what it is. 1,128. Granted, there's quite a bit of vegan sour cream on there. So hopefully this video helps you all out, not only in ordering vegan at Chipotle, doing a hack with the sour cream, but also uh, getting the bowl, saying you want both kinds of rice, both kinds of beans, if you're into both kinds of rice and both kinds of beans. But uh, bowl is the way to go. Two tortillas on the side. They used to be free, uh, but I think they charge 25 cents now. But both of our orders were like $9.95 each. Same price. So same exact food. price. Half the food. Uh, ben, anything you want to add to this? Anything they should know? I'm never ordering a burrito again. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for him. He's like half the food, but I mean, this is still a giant burrito. It's gonna be great. It's gonna plenty be plenty of food, but yeah, I I am shocked. Chipotle, do you know that there's that big of a difference between your bowl and your burrito? If you want more videos like this, fast food hacks, vegan restaurant hacks, things like that, I have a couple other in mind that we uh, we do on a regular basis. Comment below. Also, comment below what you've been ordering at Chipotle and if you're going to switch to doing it like this now. So, thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye. Odie, your head is in the way. Why are you hiding, Hop? He's waiting for the window to go down. So this is obviously a different place than we usually film. And this is Ben. Yeah, that's that's me. Um, why are we in the car, Michael? We are going to Chipotle.